Hello teachers, Tech Teacher 1381 here, and today I have a great tool for our music teachers. Music teachers, are you looking for a way to add musical notation into a Google Doc? Well, look no further because the Flat for Docs add-on can help you do that, and I'm going to show you the way that works. So the Flat for Docs add-on is located in the G Suite Marketplace, but I'm going to show you how to get there from a Google Doc. So when you open up your Google Doc, what we will look for is we're going to look for the add-ons page or the add-ons tab, I should say, which is right here. Then what we will do is we will click that open and you will see that option here, get add-ons. I already have it installed here in my Google Docs. So let's go ahead and check out how it works. So now if you notice my add-on has opened up and I have these wonderful options here. You've got two staffs, you've got guitar tablature, ukulele tablature, unpitched, and you've got a single staff. I'm gonna work with the single staff here, and I wanna show you a couple of options that you have. Now you notice here, this might be a little hard to view when you're looking at this, but if you go to documentation, you can go ahead and zoom in a little bit better so it makes it a lot easier on the eyes as you are composing your musical snippets. Then I also have the option for notes. So you have all of these notes that you have, articulation options, you have ornaments, dynamics that you can go ahead and add, measures, you can go ahead and change the time signatures here as well. You can change the key signature and from clef, you also can add some text here as you'll see some of these tools that are available to you. Now I'm going to go here to the notes option and I'm going to go ahead and start creating my musical snippet. So I'm going to start adding my notes here and here I go. And again, I'm not a music teacher, but I find this very intuitive. Oops. And when you make a mistake here, guys, what you can do is you can go ahead and remove the element and go left. There you go. So you've removed the element. Now we can make sure and we can go ahead and continue adding our notes here. So if you notice here, I'm showing you what can happen. And in case it does, it's fairly easy to fix. So you really don't have to feel frustrated that, oh my goodness, I really messed this up. It's all good and everything's gonna work out great. So let me finish up my piece here. I am almost done with my masterpiece here. And the last note right there. All right, now let's go back to document here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a little bit. So now we see our whole piece. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and listen to my whole piece here. And I can go ahead and click on play. Let's do that. There we go. So there is my piece. Now, what if you wanted to add some more notations here as this allows you to listen to it to make sure that everything is right the way that you want to hear it, but it also allows you to add for some articulation here, some ornaments, some dynamics. Now, it's not going to reflect the dynamics here. This is mainly just for annotation purposes. So what I can do is I can grab this and I can go ahead and add my crescendos and I can extend them. I can make them shorter if I need to. So that's something that's wonderful there. I can go ahead and add pianissimo and I can go ahead and move that maybe over here. And so as you can see, you've got some wonderful tools that you can have available to you just on the click of a mouse. You can go ahead and add all of these great things. So music teachers, I hope that this might be something that is helpful to you as you can go ahead and create some musical annotations and put them into a Google Doc. Now let's go ahead and click on insert so you can see the way this looks on a Google Doc. There you go. So there you go. You notice that I have my articulation here. I've got my pianissimo, my, my crescendo, excuse me. And you can go ahead and resize these pieces here, make them a little bit smaller. And of course you can go ahead and work with the margins. Now, again, this works with Google docs. It does not work with Google slides with Google slides. There's a slight little error that occurs but at least now you can create those beautiful musical notations that you wanna to send to your students 
And now you have a document that you can send through, like I mentioned earlier, Google Classroom, which would be great. So hopefully this is helpful to you, music teachers. Y'all take care and stay techie, my friends.